back in the room. Whew. Okay, so pit stop number 300. And... So, pit stop 308. Take two. <laughs> it's an easy thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yes, where were we? You were breaking the news to your mum and dad at the table about fucking three, four years car mechanic. Aye. Like the window. Wrapping it. Wrapping uh, it. Yeah, so I just said it. Uh, I'm going to be self employed. Dad was like, What? You're going to be self employed? What are you going to do? I was like, I guess maybe I'll get a gardener. Maybe he's going to go up in the big gardener. I was like, I'm going to use YouTube and I'm going to learn how to do it. And literally, I uh, put the the Peugeot, like I was, I, yeah, I was 21, like, yeah, like I didn't, want, didn't have a lot of money or anything, so I sold the Peugeot that weekend, after the 12th, 13th, whatever, I had sold the Peugeot, we got a carry for it, just passed our test, or dad for it, had it on for like, I think it was 750 pounds, he was like, what type of money would it take to lift this today, and I was like, make an offer, and he went, 650, and I was like, sold, was <laughs> <laughs> Really? And I was like, yeah, take it away. And he gave me the money. And me and Michelle were going to get it at the time. And we went in, he got into the, the Clio, and I, or into the Renault Clio. And I drove to B&Q and bought a long work on a server. You lie. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> that was the start of it. Once the holidays were over, I went out the Monday morning and started walking the streets, knocking doors, did people on the grass cut. Stop it. <laughs> and that was in the Clio? That was in the Clio. Did you have a trailer? But did you get a trailer? I, I had a trailer anyway. Because. Uh, Oh, here we go. Here we go. The trailer, the trailer was acquired many years before that for a business that I had started when I was 17. Got you. Mr. Mobile. <laughs> a mobile balloting service. Very mobile good. Car balloting. So, yeah, I started that when I was about 17. We started driving. And, uh, yeah, I started doing that. But it just goes to show um, if there's a will, there's a way. Like, you know, if a kid fancies having a crack at something, literally all you need is a, a tow bar. Yeah, the, 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 see, see now, look, you, you can relate this. Now, it's so much easier now than it was. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, there, I, never, I never forget my first set of leaflets I got from Copy Express, Woodstock <laughs> Road. <laughs> I didn't think there were any more sub plug on that even. <laughs> uh, I ain't getting no free leaflets on that plug. 25 <laughs> pounds, 30 quid or something. For a thousand? For, for, I, a couple of thousand there. White, black and white. My dad's actually got one from up in the garage. No my way. first my first garden of people. Yeah, I actually up in the attic have not only my first um leaflet, but <coughs> I was big time it. So it was so I kinda um I saved up some money. I think it was about four hundred quid um twenty years ago. You were rich. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but I actually paid a, we call them like artist guides kind of thing, yeah, to, 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 yeah, to design yeah. me um, my mobile car wallet and service um, image. Yeah. And it was kind of like, um, it was a black silhouette. Yeah. Um, and it was basically from the front. It looked like a like a mini. Yeah, yeah. So like the silhouette of the front of a mini. Yeah. And then wings at the back. All right, because yeah. it was mobile. Because mine, mine was like a beetle that had hands coming out, like it was scribbling itself. It yes. Was bubbles. That was that was that was. Oh, that was that one. But I I've been doing that about yeah about a year or two now, and I started kind of developing there the the the, the idea. Yeah, my um, my career out of the short lived. Yeah, council, yeah. Council had it. So I used to step up every Saturday morning. I used to set up a car wash. Yes. Uh, this is how long ago it was. Banger Dairies. Do you know yeah. Banger Dairies? No. The Belfast Road. No. And Banger. So do you know when you come to the flyover? Yes. You're driving down um, Hillmount Garden Centres now on the left. Yes. Yes. So just as you go on past that, there's like a takeaway, an Indian, a chippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a side street there. Got you. And that was the entrance into the old Banger Dairy side. It was Dairy Insider's houses in there now. Um, every Saturday morning, I used to go down there and get out the fire hydrant gear and up the fire hydrant up, no plug way. the tap on gear into it. Yeah, set the fire on the shelf, put the side of the road. <laughs> and we used to come in and get their cars and their taxis and stuff. It was great. And then one, 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 one week I was standing, these, these two fellas were standing across the road with this juice like clipboard and all. 
I just never thought anything of it. Just used to it. I just think over here. What do you call the fire hydrant? Fire hydrant in the ground. No way. Yeah, free hip, you white people. Put a cone all over it so nobody can see. Oh, goodness. And then, yeah, it was this, this, they were there, they were there this week and they were standing, they were standing for ages. And I kind of noticed them, but never paid any attention. And uh, I got a queue of like three or four cars. And uh, they come over, you guys from the council. No way. Yeah, you read me a rat act and told me if I didn't take the gear out of the ground. I was causing them obstruction to a fire hydrant for a start, which is a criminal offence. And then you're using the water. They, 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 <laughs> we were looking at my phone there for the, where's all the storage being leaked yeah. off. <laughs> they were probably wondering where all the water was being leaked off. thought there was a leak. This guy's on the Belfast Road. <laughs> knocking, out, knocking out five for three quid. That's it. Two pounds fifty. I was, oh, very good. Volume, volume. Yeah, you, you were a uh, Tesco Blue Brand. I was living the dream. Like, <laughs> for a little Because I, I, I always just go run around and you got banners. You know, yeah. made and you know, put them up. You know, like it's I, a real like, pride moment. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting your first banner and all, you were big time. And I went, do you know where the old extra vision used to be? <coughs> like the entrance in the Bloomfield yeah, shopping yeah, centre. Yeah. Well, I got a big massive banner and just put it straight along there. When I went home and I was sitting waiting on the phone ringing, do you know what it's I mean? Like, I was sitting loving it. Like, I was like, that big banner, so that's me, I've made it now. Um, big massive banner up the, you know, like the fence yeah. where Blue Chicago is now yeah. and actually it used to be. Um, big banner right up a right up a sailor. Um, <laughs> and I was just at home waiting on the phone ringing, running down and all, checking the banner and all. And, um, literally a day or two, I ran down and gone, gone. You know they obviously the council a bit left yeah. it somewhere else. I have just at the start of the year. Oh, serious? Hit the garden ones. <laughs> no way. They put them around everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, seen the them, I've seen them on, on the... Uh... Six or eight. Yeah, that's the, only, that's the only one with last. Five, left. is it? <laughs> I, um... But I was saying about the, the car wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we came over and read me a rat act told me they were going to prosecute me if I ever turned up there again. No way. Uh, yeah, so I was, I was kind of like... Oh, you oh, shit yourself with you like? This is like... This is, that, was, that was my first... First ever demon in business mm. where you're dealing with authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are, they are. Yeah, what you can't do. So I was like, heartbroken. That's my, my career is over. You know, this out. Uh, so I was like, what am I going to do? Need to relocate. So I moved around <laughs> <laughs> right the, the Clampy Boy Road, Banger Football Club, oh, uh, in the car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a fire hydrant there. So I set up there every week and I, I had a few weeks there and then it wasn't the same. So I just dropped it. <laughs> that was, that so was it. Where did you get the idea from that you could actually use them? Or, or that's not that's not common knowledge as such. Well, I don't even know where that idea came from. I see, see I done car washing and stuff because I've done I'd always done a bit of gardening. Yes. Well, slightly later on. I, I actually the first garden I've been ever set up was called Rose. Rose. Yeah. It was named, named after my mum. And I, yes. got a, I got a phone call one day from a guy that was kind of quite clever. <laughs> That's my name. It was what? like, sorry. Uh, yeah, but so, you can't really, you can't claim a name. You can't claim. No, but what? Can't name twenty the time. I know. I was kind of like, you know, you don't really know what's going on, so it's. I know. People I, phone um, you, threaten you down the phone. How they're gonna? You kind of gouge your eye out. Do you know that app Fiverr? Oh. Fiverr, you basically you get kind of um, graphics design yeah, yeah, for Fiverr yeah. and. You can get <coughs> you get it's developed now, but years ago it was basically just like a, a like a, a a business brand image, you know, logo yeah. for a fiver, you know. And that, that was you said, yeah. Okay. Like a photo Sarah, Sarah's probably heard of it. Yeah, but, but, but <laughs> I was I'm, 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 I'm not packing at all. No, um, but the point is. <laughs> I guys get in touch with me. I'd say, you know, you're looking for a mine. Yeah. And it wasn't until you kind of, you're like, the same guy in India knocking them up for a fiver, banging out the same template for all us mugs. Name change. Yeah, and just put the different name in. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, that's that's the difference though. Right? So, like, when you, we started out a lifetime ago, decades now. You, when you went to somebody in a, in a, in a copy express or a, a, a printer's the design or something yeah they were working on stock images yeah on google i know do, do you know what i mean so the chances you ever copy in somebody else is very slim yeah and whereas now because of the internet you're saying talk about fiber a hundred people on banger can use that yeah. and all get the same image did you just screenshot it 
Yeah. You know what kind of way again? Because we used to have, remember Andy Stock Images? We used to have the, the writing. That, uh, yeah. yeah. Back and so and then even, um, I think Google have even been clamping down on it. Yeah. Because see, when you go into like kind of screenshot kind of feature, the wee logo at the top corner pops up. So oh, you're I'm screenshot trying, and then you're trying, trying, like, trying to crop You're it. trying to crop past that. <laughs> Never done that. No, no, no. Um, no. So like, that yeah. was my early, early, early uh, was introduction. Uh, uh, was yeah, so, so putting your <laughs> putting your toe in the uh, not water, putting your toe in the fire. <laughs> fire <laughs> <hate>. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> but yeah, no, you you you, 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 real, you don't realise all the all the red tape around you. You don't. You don't. I only even even with the gardening, you're not really constrained to the same red tapes. Yeah. You know, there's obviously there's have to be safe, you know, like it's common sense. Yeah. yeah Anybody yeah. will have a brain have a brain. Yeah, so some but, some big machinery. You know, yeah, but even like using a face visor. Like I was sorry, I, I know, I know they're good. I know it worked. That's what probably make you so comfortable. That's how you thought it was working. Um but yeah, it's like, but it's when we were in the mountain campus, that was a big game changer. The yeah. amount of red tape. Oh, you're working with kids, it's you high risk for yeah. injury, yeah. blah, blah, blah. The early, when, in the early days when we started off, say like the same early days, you're probably talking about four or five years ago, there was a, there was a massive accident. And I think it was, no way. Yeah, a week early summer, lost our life to uh, an inflatable, poor athletes on an inflatable. Um, the, the, the hire company never ran it correctly, and when uh, the, the, I phone people, so it's like this weekend we're kind of watching the weather because of teetering around what the the maximum cutoff speed is. It's just twenty four miles an hour. So that's the wind. Wind or gust? Yes. Yeah, so whatever yeah. comes first. <coughs> so you need to keep an eye on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll be watching weather from the Monday. Wow. From the week before. People just wouldn't know that. No, they don't. That's that's what I'm saying. And nine times out of ten, a lot of our customers kind of like, yeah, thanks for having me, you know, that's great, you know, whatever. They're then understanding that you always get one. It just says, like, can you recommend anybody else? For your <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't be. You're liable they're then? Not, for one, they're not covered under insurance. Yeah. You know, no insurance company's going to, even regardless of what happens on the day. Yeah. As soon as it's forecast, that, that's it. It's written in stone, yeah. No way. Yeah. Well, See, that one that's me. really insightful. P yeah. People, you know, <coughs> just wouldn't know that. No, we didn't know I mean, so it's like, there's a, there's a picture, you talk about Facebook memories, yeah. and it comes up every year on my Facebook, and it makes me cringe, that I'd put um, a bouncy castle yes. on what they call hard standing, so it's brick paving. Yeah. Uh, and I thought it was great, you know, it's one of these bookings, you know, outside, you know, it's great. And I'd put sandbags on it, because at the time, one of the, the, the Facebook groups we were on was kind of like, yeah, sandbags are fine. And then it was only then, is that to hold it down? As yeah, so just, to, just the weight to stop it moving. As opposed to anchoring it? As opposed to properly anchoring yeah. it. So then it was only then um, another company, actually from Korea, contacted me about it and was like, look, that's, that's not how you do this. Yeah, that's and I, like, what are you talking about? And then again, you kind of have that attitude as well. They see me as a threat, threat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not less than the end. And then you kind of, <laughs> that's the same way you age, you kind of turn around and go, hold on a second. Why is he coming and approaching me and saying, look, that's not right? You know, surely, like, I'm no threat to him, like, he's miles away. Yeah, so what? So they're trying to educate this, so they have me Educate you know, the industry? Yeah, well, in England, it's, uh, there's certain groups are quite big on education. On, yeah. On that, yeah. Which is strange. I know, it, it, it really is. I think it's when, because I'm in a group um, of uh, fellas, all established, you know, carpet and upholstery cleaners. Yeah. And once upon a time, that would have been so alien to me. Like, yeah. So they're all competition, that's they're all threats. They, they don't give a shit about you, they're they're only about themselves. They they, 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 they that doesn't make sense. Um but <clears throat> once you kinda once you're established and developed and you understand, you know, all the pieces of the puzzle that make your be, you know, business work. Your niche. Mm -hmm. You know, your you know your your niche. They've got their niches too. Yeah. And, and and like your catchment areas is a big thing and price points a big thing and you know, some people are expensive and some people are budget. Yeah. So you these two are never gonna be a competition and you might live fifty miles away from each other as well, yeah. which again separates you, you but you can uh together try and educate the industry. That that's that's that in our industry that's important. Yeah. If you, 
Northern Ireland is a very, very small country. Yeah. So if something happens in, let's say, even, say, say, even Ballymena, Ballymena, yeah, I think that that's going to be afternoon news and you know it. Yeah. If that's not so it, it puts the fear into people of hiring. Yeah. And, and, and so the more people that the the buy the legislation, like yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sitting here saying that we're 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 perfect. I mean, yeah. There is times that we don't have the 1.2 meters away from a fence because you know. That's what legislation states. Yeah, you know, it's it's practically impossible. Yeah, and you have to understand like we got the yeah yeah. You can bend rules, but in my opinion, like uh, this yeah, this will bend, probably you can work. bend them, but never break them. Yeah, but you people know, that's just the be like oh he's wrong and that you know you have to be by the book and that's fair enough. But I think if the fifteen kids stand up in the garden, how many jobs are you going to knock knock back a year if you don't get that one point two meter? You know you know you're not So 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 safety concerns were like you know you don't. Uh, yeah, so you don't anchor like a like a bouncy castle on a deck. Yeah, because you can. Yes, you can draw it down, and that's great. But you've maybe like eight screws in that that could pull out. You know, with enough wind. Like, yeah, yeah. remember, legislation's one hundred and sixty-seven kilos per anchor point. Most yeah. bouncy castles carry eight anchor points. Yeah. So you're nearly up on a ton. Wow. In weight, I was putting twenty-five kg bags on. Yeah, I think no, you can't do that. You need to drill down. But so it was but, like, <coughs> but a guarantee in some group, they were all in support of that. Oh yeah, there's groups Cause, cause, like, cause then that would be like the kind of cowboys kind of justify and play minimize all yeah, this shit. Grand, but you don't realise really. that they're potentially cowboys. Yeah, but and you, and you, you the, believe the, the worst, around a group. The worst about it is there a lot of the guys aren't even cowboys. Like they're testing, they're insured. You know, they're doing it by the book. It's just there's certain parts of the legislation that there's like well sure it's, all, it's there's nothing wrong with it because they've never they've probably taken the same attitude where somebody's like, Oh, they're just saying that, you know. Yeah. Because I, I've been you know, them groups are a great source of information and, and education. And, but sometimes I've been like, you know, some guys will put pictures up for advice mm -hmm. and you can clearly tell what where they went wrong, what needed to be done. Um, and other guys are commenting underneath. Laughing. Oh, yeah, you get all that, 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 that stuff too. But what kind of had me on the back foot where I started then question other people in the group, which I believe we were all on the same page trying to, you know, push the industry as such. They were like, kind of justifying their own sloppy low standards, you know, like, but like kind of passed the blame. And yeah. I, I was looking at the photographs and, and a couple of these jobs, the guys were looking at advice and, and it was basically like <coughs> the, um, the carpet in like a hotel had been cleaned and it'd been basically do you know what I mean? You, yeah. you could have done better yourself with a vacuum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Blatant. Yeah. And then the, the hotel air guy was, he was robbed, like six grand or something. Right? And this was four weeks later. And the guy had just went, there's something not right with that. And he put it into a carpet cleaner group. As and a group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any carpet cleaner worth of salt would just be straight up and say, like, well, you were, you, you, your eye wiped there. Yeah. But other carpet cleaners in that group were going, um, you know, well, at the end of the day, buddy, if you didn't, uh, you know, uh, like ma maintain the, the standard of clean after, we're basically blaming him. And I was like, why are you blaming the guy who's already paid the guy six grand to have the carpets cleaned? Yeah. And I was like, are you are you a cowboy then? Yeah. And you're trying to lighten the, muddy lighten the water. The yeah. You know, you're trying to muddy the water in case a few of the guys that you've stroked are maybe on here reading up and just say that's just the way it is. Yeah, that's that's the speed he's used to somebody else. And I just thought it, it's mm. it's strange to see because they they are in like in all in all the things that I've done in, in my career, our industry is the easiest that we must do to get work. So you you talk about competition, we don't have competition. Yes. Yes, there is other companies. I mean, Bangor, New Norwich, North Ireland alone is flooded with. Bouncy castle operators. You can find them anywhere. Well, but on that note, I, I just have to um, jump in. Remember, you let me one of your barns that had Cain Castles yeah. on the side, right? Yeah. So I was telling me, as either was coming over here tonight to do the podcast <laughs> with Michael, <laughs> and she goes, um, Who's Michael? And I said, You know, the big farm I had out there, it said Cain Castles on it. Um, I, 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 that, that, that Michael let me out, that's Michael's. And she goes, um, well, why is it called Cain? And I says, well, Michael bought over a company called Cain's. Yeah. And, 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 he, and he kept the name because, you know, if you bought over McDonald's, you wouldn't change the name. No. 
you know, um, I was just trying to explain it to her, and she goes, well, let him know that Kane's castle sounds better than Michael's castle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that goes that way here then. <laughs> <Murdered. clears throat> and then I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, it does actually. Kane's castles. People, people thought I was bonkers. Yeah, but, but this is the thing that, 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 that drives me personally mad. You're the, you're not a theorist. You're the yeah. practitioner. You're out there every day learning your industry. You're mastering your craft. You're mastering that's, your craft. You're you're solving shit and you're learning. I'm the CFO, chief fixing officer. Chief and, and, and all, all those fixes <laughs> yeah. gave you that inside scoop on your next move. Yeah. And I'm not ever, and you forget that. Well, I, I certainly you, you, you do. You get caught. You get caught up. You get caught up on it, and then whenever you run it past your wife that you're going to buy this other company. And I, and I, right? Can we end this, buddy? She's probably mind blown, but because she's not getting the wee golden nuggets of information along the way of being a practitioner within that industry. Michelle, Michelle sees it. She sees the work coming in, and then sees me going out the door, and like disappearing for. Yeah, and they don't. They like, there's a running, there's a running joke in our house. So from like now. Yeah, this, this is the last. Uh, now, careful, you're going on holiday a couple of days. <laughs> this is the last hurrah until mm. until September. The, the shelf with the running joke is the shelf becomes a single parent in September. For, now in September. I know. And I then know. a single parent again from November. But that's uh, January. that's because that, I get that too. I'm always jumping into the next thing, or jumping into another thing, or doing a, a due diligence in another industry, and it's because. Constantly learning and growing, yeah, and development, and you can see when yourself, when yourself. I see people say, "But you being a full star." Everybody has. Give us that charger, please. What's the mic? I'm from my hotel. Now, now the ghetto. I'm from the ghetto, tell you what. No, it, <coughs> everybody has has it in them. To, to, to work for themselves, right? Yeah. It's just, the, but do they? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I honestly believe they do. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it is it, I think it's what is it? Who is it? Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey says about um, you know everybody has this. You, you every put it this. Your fingerprint. There is no two fingers that see a fingerprint still work. Yeah. Everyone's born unique. Yeah. So everyone's born with a gift. You just need to find that. <coughs> you told yeah. me about the sealed man. Yeah. And the birthday card. That, yeah, was, yeah, that yeah. was his. That was his gift. I know. He just icing on the cake. You know that I was know, his I thing. Love that. Um, but everybody's born with a gift. It's like you know they just never. People are never given the opportunities or the support. Yeah, you, you never, you never gift. judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. No. no. So everybody does do is born with a gift, and they need to be brave enough sometimes to, to find it and that's and that's, with it. that's that's the that's the the key. Yeah. Some people. Are scared. They, they, they don't they believe in themselves. They don't. Because I again, <coughs> I don't believe they know themselves. No, I think I, I back myself one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, and, and that's touching on what I was sharing earlier about. You have to look at your ugly side. Yeah. You have to look at your insecurities, your weaknesses, and I and I believe in that process. You get to know yourself, and then you can have a crack at something because you know it's within your strengths. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, um, I think you said you're a reseller. That's what I was always told. I got a good face for a radio. That's why I took these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well, I, I, I got the whole shebang gold for fucking radio. <laughs> you need to. You, you can sum it up like that's you said there about the gold. That's what Steve Harvey says about an oak tree. Plant an oak tree in a two foot, a two foot bucket. They'll never. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never a great tree. Yeah. Like can be. You know, and it, it's it's like kids. You're giving kids exams in school that. They're never going to use them. Well, it's because um, you know, they're going to be just so waste the time. They're going to be an actor. So or, yeah, so waste of time. But but is it like China or somewhere? I, I don't know exactly where, but in primary school, if you're naturally athletic, or if you're naturally good at maths, they they don't waste any more time. They they send you to a different college. It yeah. specialises just in that because because. Um, you found their calling and such. Yeah. So there's, there's no if, if 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 you're good at maths, there's no point making that that kid do fucking PE for the next no. you know ten years. No. 
you know, because it, it's, it's a trick, it's a waste. Yeah, that's it, you know, it's, it, it's just, I, I personally believe that anybody can do it. Yeah. It's just you need, you, you, you need you, the right support. It, it all becomes, I was lucky, I yeah. was really lucky because my mum and dad always, like, even after the first initial shock of everything, like, whenever I started saying about only the job, and like, I used to come home from work at night and be like, well, do you got any more jobs today? You know, they used to be anyway, like, mum and dad yeah. was anywhere interested, and we're like, you know, oh, what are you, you going to do this one, or are you going to do that one? And then, you were like, mum was always like, I would always say my mum is the worst person to market research. Yeah. So like, when we would, we, we got into the hot tub business, I said, think about hiring hot tubs, and mum was like, why would you do that? And I was like, because you know, you know it's just a man, so they buy wouldn't have one. I know, you're, you're not, I know. You're not my target market. You're not you my know, demographic. You know, that's, you know, they would be different things, different different strokes for different folks. But I yeah. know, it's, and there's definitely a generational thing as well. But, you know. But she would, uh, yeah, she would definitely have a kick in the arse and tell me I'm in the wrong direction. <laughs> like, and she wouldn't mess on. But like, I've done things in the past, um, work ways, it's, she said, like, no, I don't think it's a good idea. Like, I, I own a fruit shop. Hmm? I own a fruit shop. Cleaning cars, the fruit and veg. Oh, you can do this. I don't know. Cleaning run, <laughs> roof cleaning, uh, bar washing. What else? I tried to open my own, own car mechanics guy at so one point. No way. <laughs> I actually sold. I sold. I had a lovely Ford Focus. Yes. And I actually sold the Focus to, to try and set this. Uh, Garage up, yeah, that'll work. So talk to me about the uh, fruit and veg shop. Where were you sourcing your? Well, I thought I could, I could have had no mistakes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah, there's a so there's an indoor uh, fruit market up in. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. It was uh, your eyes were bigger than your belly at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And it was. Uh, but but again, what was the biggest um, lesson that you took away from that? Because I'm sure you learned something in that process. Uh, well, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was lucky. I, yeah. I was lucky. Um, don't jump into things so quick. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, we, it only lasted 14 weeks. What? 14, 16 weeks. It was, it went, it went learning curve. downhill faster than the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, from the day, the day in Ireland, from, from the day I got the keys. Did, did, did you have a shop enough? Oh yeah, yeah. that's what I'm Come Granny Smith's. You're a shop now? Yeah, we grab it all. You drive past it and all and go, look. It's, it's Scotch, it's Scotch Corner now, so that's another pub. Yeah, I'll yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's good. It's there. moved up the, yeah, it's up in yeah. the public. Rock Gale, yeah. you know, we, it's up there now. Lady Doom, that's what I'm saying. Will that be in there? Yeah, no way. Very good. I took it out on the 8th of April. 4th of April. That's a good location, though. It, it was a. So, oh, we community there? We had a. Yeah, it's kind of way. And it, it was good, but the problem was it's just. Price? It's, no, it wasn't even price. You know, at the time, the Tesco started there, like two heads of iceberg lettuce for 50p a head. <laughs> I was buying them in the market at 55. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheaper for me to go to Tesco to buy them. You know, but Tesco's had a big Tesco as well, so it could have been. Yeah, yeah. Pro, pro, yeah. yours were probably better product, though. Yeah. Better quality. Well, yeah, so we had, a, we had a lady come in one time and they came in and bought milk because it was cheap. Yeah. So like, whenever I looked at the galleys and milk, whenever I was taking a shop over the galleys, it was massive. Like, we were shifting like 100 jugs plus a day, you know. I was like, that's a real busy shop. And we had this lady come in one day and she came in and I moved the fridges all the way. Because like, when you go in the shops, the milk fridges are always furthest away. So you yeah. pass them and get the right stuff that you need per yeah. se and pick up. So it's a psychological thing. And uh, the woman came in, went to the, went to the Fred's Gutter Mill, came up to the counter and I was like, uh, is there anything else we can interest you in today? You know, we've just got brand new, it was like Granny Smith apples in or something. You know? She was like, oh no, 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 I buy my uh, fruit and veg uh, from Marks and Spencer's, something like this. And I was like, right, no problem. And she walked, <laughs> and Sarah, my sister, she, she was in the shop with the she like, do they not get a food? And I was like, yeah, they're packaging centers upstairs. And where I'm at from, so they were buying the exact same stuff. But the price point is different. That, that status symbol. Because it was how it was packaged. Yeah. 
and that's all the way, you know, things you know, yeah, people, people buy with their eyes. Yeah, and it, it, when it comes to food, people eat with their eyes and buy with their eyes, and yeah, no, I get all that. Um, but where, where, where'd you go after that? After the, the food page? I licked my wounds for a wee bit. <laughs> I was still in the garden. I had, I had to keep working in the garden to keep the shop afloat because the, right. waste, the waste on the shop was astronomical. Yeah. Hundreds of pounds a week. Wow. Like just, just being thrown out. Because it, you're, you can't open a fruit shop and say we sell fresh sweet bread and not have any in the shop when people do eventually come in to buy it. So it was like we were going to throw a box of apples out because it maybe started to spoil. Yeah, and yeah, the steaks are incredible. Yeah, it was like three hundred per week, three three hundred plus. Wow! I remember loving it, and I was going like, "You're not, you're not. This isn't going to last. Like this isn't sustainable." Yeah, uh, yeah. Done a big, done a big write up on the Chronicle. Decked out the front of the shop with all the plants and flowers and tying on baskets and everything. So, uh, so <coughs> yeah, you've done a lot of things, right? You got, you tried, yeah, you got the quality, you got the location. Yeah, you know, you had, you, you had all the items in there to draw people in. Yeah. Um, it was literally just trying to figure out the turnover. You needed to sell everything quickly. It was it was top heavy. Yeah, you know, you, we we in a fruit shop, people think you know when you're working with a twenty three, like twenty three, twenty four kid, a time and apple. Yeah, you know, you're working on two like two or three key profit margin. Yeah, you need to shift hundreds of things because they give you the five lines in the square in Newton Arch. You go past there on a Saturday. Yeah, he has got ten trays of strawberries. Yeah, packed from the floor. And yeah, he, they're going like they're not. They have they're not there. They're not there just for a look. Like they're they, they're selling. Yeah, and he so he needs ten. Yeah. Whereas we could never, we couldn't buy the volume because we couldn't ship the volume. And you couldn't attract the, the volume of feet full. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, that you couldn't. I'm the kind of person. I'm not a perfectionist. Um, and what I mean by that is, a lot of people don't get going because they need all their ducks in a row. And I, and, I, and, I, and I suppose, on reflection, I used to be like that. But then you talk yourself out of it, don't you? Okay. You, tr- you analyse this and you perfect that and you theorise about the other. Before you know it, you're like, that's not going to work. But I go back to the days. I go back to, back to, the I, I go back to uh, fucking working in a call centre. Um, so sometimes you, you do, you have, to, you have to just jump in yeah. and, and problem solve as, as you go. Um, but yes, it just yeah, you know I get it. So some problems are just needing solved too too soon, too quickly. Yeah. Um, because yeah, that was a big problem. Like trying to because because the guarantee back then, you didn't you did you didn't probably grasp just how important marketing is. Like and no, like, like, even then, like I wasn't on Facebook. The, you, Facebook didn't exist. Didn't exist. Yes. You know because we that was so we took the shop off. This is what I'm saying. Everybody jumped in with two feet. Contract. No, no, no. We, we kind of got the, the figures of the turnover. We were kind of like, look, you know what? It's just this. Is, like, I'm looking at what I'm doing in the garden. Yeah. You know, still, still going to the Monday bar. Oh, yeah. Monday morning and saying, can I borrow 20 pound off you for the <laughs> because, <laughs> because of the money. <laughs> yeah. After I, I paid my bills for last week. And but, she's like, yeah, no problem. There's 20 years. The first 20 quid you earn on a Monday morning, like, that's going back to Monday, I think. Because you may need to lend it the next week. No. It, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a false economy. You're, you're looking at this guy and he's like, I'm giving this up. Blah, blah, blah. And you're looking at the figures, you go, well, if I'm getting married, and it was like, it was two years at that point. Yeah, it would have been two years. Very good. And I was like, that, this will be all sorted. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we, yeah. we, we closed it for the July weekend. July weekend? Yeah, but so from the April. To the July, it was all the time we got with it. I, I just spoke to the landlord. He had, he had tried to help us out a bit, but his hands were pretty much tied, as he said. And uh, like the letting agents or whatever. What no, it was pri- it was privately rented through through the landlord and owned it. So oh, it was all right. done through the owners. It was, there was no solicitors involved. Yeah, yeah, there was a solicitor's contract, but it was no there was no solicitor in my name. Like yeah, 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 yeah. With. I know, I know. That's <coughs> what I'm saying about you make you make certain choices in life, and then. It's only afterwards you kind of look at it and go, why didn't I just spend the money and get a sinister over the bat? I know, you know, I know. But it's it's like in school, you, you, what is it to say? In school, you learn the lesson and do the test. Yeah. In life, you do the test and learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. That's what I'm saying. But whatever I heard you've done this and you tried that and you go with that, I'm like, the whole big golden nuggets of, of information there. Did yeah, you learn through all that? Which, which moving forward, 
Yeah, like, I'll, I'll never run a lot of free bread shop. <laughs> <laughs> I was offered a shop there not that long ago. It was, it was a guy uh, talking about it, yeah. And, uh, but, uh, but I guarantee you, the said, first thing popped into your head was contracts. No, no, it's not even that. I, I said to Michelle about this, and there's a wee contracts in the shop. Call <laughs> <laughs> she was just, just looking at me and went, no. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. She's my kingpin. She yeah, grounded. grounded. You need grounded yeah. like me. Oh, like me. And I'm sure plenty of other um, entrepreneurs out there. And it must just be a personality trait. Because I, <coughs> I, tell, I always say now about myself, you know, I, I know there's like what you call pessimists and yeah. optimists. Yeah. And I always say I'm an optimist to a fault. Yeah. I'm fucking my head's filled with wonders. Like, okay. you know, I, I um, I just don't see obstacles, problems. <coughs> For me, it's just like, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. It's like, it's like me, I, I'm only making a second video now. Because I gave up trying to make the first one. <laughs> <laughs> just do that for a second. That's how up the other thing I am. Um, um, <coughs> Don't stop there, man. I'm going to make my fourth. Don't have me my third or second or first yet. No, um, I, but, but again, I, I, I truly believe as well. <coughs> but that's how you it's not, even, it's not even about the end result. It's about the chase. It's about... It's, a, it's, a, it's about the, the process. Yeah. So then, like my mum would say, you're, you're always bouncing. You're always one project. You're bouncing then another. You're doing this, you're doing that. You're doing. And that's true. But I think my problem is, it's like, you get complacent. You're, you're doing the same grind every day of the week. And you, you, you lose that. It gets boring. You, get, you, you, you lose that chase. Yeah. So it's kind of like, right, what can I do? Like, for, for, you get that fix. For me, it kind of, it, it is a fix. For, for me, it gets boring. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's long term, it's hard to sustain. So it's like, when we started Bouncy Castles, like we were full of, well, we didn't even win the Bouncy Castles first of all, that was Hells and I, like one of the hot tubs. That was a complete. That's another story. Yeah. Uh, but that, that was how that started. It was we were in the birthday party. Yeah. And there was a hot tub there. Yeah. And I with Michelle was like, well, I'm bringing your shorts along. Bella was only a couple of months old. Bringing your shorts along. Jason's mum's got him a hot tub for his birthday. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm not getting that hot tub. He's like, oh. Not getting the hot tub with people, you know, sitting there, a couple of beers, <coughs> there, and there's me in the hot tub in my shorts, <laughs> kind of beer, cigarette, no saying, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm in there, and I was like, uh, we could do this, like, we yeah. Pay the shelves, don't we? Not go back to work. Okay. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm gonna make more, you know, I don't, don't make any more, just to keep, yeah, keep us, yeah, like, the whole shebang, you know, just have a beer, and uh, she was like, no. I was like, right, well, let's put my lady. So this was this was in early December. Yes. Her sister and um, my brother were told they were getting married in, the, in I think it was the 20, 28th, 27th, 28th of, of December, just after Boxing Day. Yes. Um, and I was kind of pushing on this thing, you know, put it off for like, we get hard, see how it goes. We can own it, you know, what it can be for us. Anyway, we'll, yeah, worst case scenario. We'll we'll people want hard, if they want to hire it, sure, we'll, we'll just yeah. see whatever. And, uh, the they went we they went to their wedding and they got married and when they were away Michelle finally agreed to let me buy one hot tub and I was like big go yes and the thing we advertised it our original name was Glen Tower Party Tubs. <laughs> yes. Party Tubs Party Tubs because there was like this sounds risky. <laughs> it was <laughs> you party bag you wanna see you wanna see you wanna see some of the pictures that you've seen over the years. Oh you know no way. Oh yeah. Um when we when we first thought about doing it, the first thing we looked at was customer service. What could we do that was different from everybody else? So that, that yeah. nobody had ever done before. Yeah. And it was the party packages. So that was the long term on it. Yes. But on the short term we need to get these things out. So we bought a sixty eight seater and we're really here with it. Oh a sixty eight sixty eight seater was a big one. <coughs> and, uh, thing went fully big for like seven or eight weeks. Oh wow. Yeah, it was out every single week. Um, so I said really bad alone. It's just like no no, because Michelle would always play things cautiously. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I'm a gambler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't do the lottery. You know, I've done the prize guy a few times, but that's a bit yeah. negative. Yeah, but when it comes to business, you're, you're I comfortable with uh, calculated risk. Yeah, as opposed to straight yeah. out. It's, it's all about uh, the end game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I mean, calculated any, risk. Any, you, you know the demands there. You know, um, it's only going to cost whatever for another one. Yeah, and already picked out. Yeah, so, so that was, the demand's there. This, this was what happened. Feel the demand. We went, bought another one, and then picked out. It went the same way. We bought four, four to six seater, I think, after that. 
I, just, I don't know what you're going to say. <coughs> Valentine's Day. This was our, this was early January now. This yeah. was early January. Valentine's Day was only a matter of weeks away. Yeah. And we had like three hot So e e e even just on a wee side note, a pessimist will be like, who's hiring hot tubs in January after winter? Yeah, well, it's the best you're going to have. People didn't know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, sorry, carry on. So the end, like, that was, that was the fair but Valentine's Day was fully booked. And we had just started this package with like, you know, Lady Gaga in blue, Lord Hartley in blue, yeah, uh, bottle for sale, yeah. red card. Something that developed into the package. Packages. I suppose this is where the package is left. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. if you wanted to go for standard hot top car, that was fine. But if you wanted to go for something a bit different, we done all these packages that you could. We were the first ones at the company. Pretty much to do the packages. Nobody asked them. Um, which is credit to Michelle really, because she was hers kind of. Hey dear, she kind of set the packages all up and done. Well, so Tommy, Tommy can thank Michelle now because Tommy got the Valentine's oh, engagement package. No, that was me. I know, I know. Yeah, Michelle rolling up and down the company. You know how you are, let's take confetti. Let's take confetti. Fucking I know, and I drove through an airport with Tommy in a wheelchair because she put her calf out in some dance oh, floor. And I'm actually going, yo. <laughs> and Tommy's looking at me, I'm, I, uh, I was trying to tap into the airport Wi-Fi and all. That's right. Oh, good. Yeah. But, uh, but no, it was really fun to hear the, uh, the origins of that story. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So, so just, just the end of 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 but then where, where, where did the, 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 the house development kind of, how did you end up living in the caravan and developing the house? <laughs> <coughs> Pretty close uh, to Galler, what, what, wasn't it? All that, no? What? The bouncy castles, or sorry, the half time, the bouncy castles. Yeah, the, the, the bouncy castles, yeah, we get straight into it before even, I, I went on looking for bouncy castles for Bella and Richard's first birthday party. <laughs> and seen the price and it was like, oh, stuff like, you know, I could buy a bouncy castle and, you know, I'll have it there forever. So I got the sale on Valeros and then on one day and we drove to Cool Rain <coughs> and I bought a bouncy castle for Valeros' first birthday and when we got it home, Michelle was like, you, you do realise, you know, as a daughter, <laughs> <laughs> I bought a Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> in my eyes it was a bouncy castle. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the gateway then to buy more. Small detail. Um, and then it just escalated. So that was about, I don't know, just what, she's coming down in July. Yeah, it was just she was she wasn't even old when that all started and then the house built the house came on the end in twenty twenty one. So the, 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 the problem with our business is bouncy cattle's aren't small. Yeah. yeah. I mean you'd put three, four No, you, you could probably get uh <coughs> ten, fifteen bouncy cattle. Yeah, three, four at one side and then maybe yeah. but the problem comes in you're trying to clean them. So yeah, like we, we do have a problem. And then, and then, then you're matter. racking. I see you're racking. The racking what? It was, it was too high up or something. Remember? So, because they're quite heavy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess the racking. And then you're, you're racking right. whenever it was uh, fixed in. Was it too high up or something? You're shelving? You said, oh, yeah. Right? So we were trying to, it took two men to lift the bouncy castle up on the one of the shelves. Yeah. And it was just, uh, it didn't work. It was too, uh. Because if you were trying to get one. If you were on your own, if I came in on your own, there's like. 11 to 15 on the shelf that I need out for that day. You're, 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 you're pulling that it ain't happening. No, and you're, they're not. But, but you, you couldn't foresee that. No. Problems so like that. Then that's when start coming into Yeah. It. You, just, you, just, you just can't foresee that stuff. No. You're sitting rubbing your hands, you're going, I'm going to jump that's on the back, and that's fucking perfect. And then you're like, right, I'm here on my own, and I need two or three out. And it's like, <laughs> <coughs> oh, you've just cleaned one? Because that's know. another thing. Yeah, that, that's, that was the problem. So the, the long term, the long term thing for the business, for the business that's on in the future, yeah, is, is we need to keep to keep our price as low as we can and still make a problem. We need to keep the, we need to keep the price down where we can. So it's like overheads, fixed overheads, yeah, unit costs, yeah, commercial property to rent is an absolute fortune. You know, then you pick your rates. You pick Never your rents. You cut your rates. God you your 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 contracted for maintenance. Yeah, you pay hundred pound a year for that. Two, maybe two boilers. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I know people that would be caught out for new roofs. Yeah. So it was like we, we knew then that we, we needed to do something in the future. We needed the buy a house that had enough land around that we could put something like this in that we could work out of. And we just, we just touched lucky. That was that. Yeah, was really lucky. That was the sun was bright. Well, yeah. lucky in the sense that last time I was speaking to you and you fell off the fucking roof. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, all I heard, it was like, not like an actually. 
Oh. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. He's either he's dropped one of his power tools or he's dropped. Yeah. Uh, phone, <laughs> phone's gone. The phone's gone. That's no. Take a bag of your. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> take a bag of He's dead or his phone's dead. Um, <laughs> but, that, was a, that was a task on its own. This is what I'm saying. I know nothing about building. I know mm. nothing about construction. Well, I tell you what, you filled me. Because I used to call around and I'd be like, he's <laughs> fucking. He's done a joinery apprenticeship every time he's saying nothing, he's up no. the fucking roof. I, I just knocked that wall down, I've got a couple of things there, and I'm sure what one I'm like, are you? Really? Yeah. <coughs> we thought about it, the fact you took Yeah, you yeah. Took every, they had a lot of help from friends and stuff, so I like, fixed it up for you. And then what, whatever happened to the, what do you, what, the cement up the front of the house, what do you call yeah, that? The render. The render? No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'll be for take two. <laughs> that was just, just for the tape, that wasn't me that done that, by the way. I know, uh, I know. I but, it's, <coughs> but yeah, uh, it's just uh, problems. It, 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 there's no straight run. No, like we, we, took, we took that house and we knew what we were getting into. Yeah. But the way I kind of thought, nah, you know, not my plaster or free plaster. Then when you get into it and you start taking things apart, you see it. I know. The guy was it was you a shell. See, you could see the roof from downstairs. It was a shell. That, that's what right. I said to myself. Like, I would be now. I'm 37, so I'm still I'm still young. I'm not old, but we could have went in there and done what we needed to do to get the house livable. Yes. I came back to it in 10 years' time when I'm 47. Do you really want to be doing this? 10 years, down, you know what I, I mean? Know. So it was like bite the bullet. <coughs> and then in the middle of all that, what, what was the crack of your back? I still four discs. <laughs> Just for a bit of crack. Oh. I'm sitting here now, it's twins. No way! I forgot my cushion. That's it. I can't remember my cushion. Every time I jump into one of your balls, I say, what the fuck's this? <laughs> <laughs> he needs a cushion to see uh, I don't know. I, 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 I went to get into your house one day, I was like, what do you call them famous people who sit in the toilets? The commode. The commode. <laughs> I'm like, why are you ready for a commode or what? What the fuck is this? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bad though? Yeah, I've never. I, I've had a bad back before, like, yeah, like, I've doubled. Doubled? Like, you were, uh, I, like, I called around one day and you were, what was it, about fucking 40 tonne of soil thrown in about the yard? Yeah, like, I took a back, put it on you. Yeah. It was like a fucking boomerang, <laughs> trying to try to fucking shovel. You know? I just, I just doubled and put like, I literally couldn't. You see me, because it was you that said about the swimming and stuff and doing yeah, that. Yeah. I, I couldn't have done it right. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't get myself straight. Because, um, it was, yeah, I've, I've had a few bad injuries here and there for different reasons and um, sometimes trying to rehab an injury purely on your own body weight yeah, is still just, too much pressure yeah. um, <clears throat> so I had a bad knee one time training for the Belfast Marathon I was really bad in the sense I was so desperate and enthusiastic to achieve it I had a bad injury and I still persevered and just made it worse yeah. and eventually I had to pull the plug um, and went and paid money for physio and done all that jazz and it just never ever got better but i was so determined i was just seeking out solutions and answers and yeah. any road i was desperate um and then i watched um a youtube video on somebody with a really bad injury um uh, rehabbing in the water yeah and i don't you know but my I, i'm a believer now it doesn't matter if it's your ankle, your knee, your hip, your back, your because shoulder. Of the because of the buoyancy. Because of the buoyancy. No pressure on. Because you can rehab injuries with less than your body weight. Yeah. And, and, and that is sometimes things are so broken or so bad that even your own body weight, yeah. you know, like even just trying to do that, even your own body weight yeah. is too much. So then you have to go sub body weight, you know. Yeah. Well, it was like when you said about the swimming. Yeah. Like my thing at the time was like, like I couldn't I couldn't physically swim so I couldn't even get up straight. Yeah. Then, like, try, try to get <coughs> like, I, I remember going with physio one day. I know because but because I remember you saying your physio was making you do A, B and C and I was like uh, you know, obviously <coughs> the, the exercise is that she ate me. Mm -hmm. Whenever whenever she the day I went in to do the thing and she, she she called me in, I walked in in the room like this and she's sitting on the chair the ball thing and she jumped her on. I was kinda like doesn't look ready because she's, she's going to give me a workout today. <laughs> like she, she, this girl was tiny, but I, she could literally crack things and the noises was unreal. No way. Oh, she, I left the place in Um 
But yeah, she, she was kind of sitting there all serious face, and I was like, so that's serious, you know, what's going on? And she was kind of like, yeah, yeah, like, I'm really concerned. Mm. And I was like, what do you mean? And she says, your body's not responding to the treatment. And you've done 10, I was doing two, two treatments a week. So I was going on Thursday. Thursday, yeah, going on, on Thursday so I could recover on the Friday, so I could go to work on Saturday and the Sunday, and then have to go back again on the Monday yes. because of the pain I put myself in trying to work all weekend. So you're in that space of silver. <coughs> you said your body's not yeah, responding. Yeah, it's all causing money, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm supposed to take the But it was like, uh, yeah, your body's not responding, and I'm, I'm worried in case there's something more sinister to play inside. Wow. And I was like, right. And she started asking about bowel movements and all this, and I'm sitting there going, cool. Yeah, clacking on the right hand with all these keywords. What's, so what's, what yeah, are we going to do there? She says, yeah, I'm going to refer you for an MRI scan. I was like, right, okay, how long is that going to take? She says, take anything up to a year. I was like, what? Hit you with the old sinister folk yeah. hat and then hit you with a so, year. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I went proud. Yes. And I came back, her boss then actually phoned me and said, uh, yeah, look, you could four slip this in your back, three cysts in your spine. Boosting on your sciatic nerves, causing all this pain. And I was like, well, what about the celiac tree? He was like, yeah, yeah, easy mistake. I was like, pardon? He's like, yeah, you know, you can get the two mixed up, they're very similar. So I was being treated for a celiac tree in my hip. So the, on your hip? Uh, yeah, somewhere, that, somewhere, in, back? <laughs> somewhere in here. So oh, one of the, actually, oh. the end of the physio that I went to in front of sports therapy out in Lisburn, he was, uh, Paul was brilliant. He says, like, you know, the way you were being, the, the, the exercises you were doing, were actually aggravating. Them. Of course. So I was making it worse. Yeah. And that's why it lasted so long. But yeah, four four stuff this. I actually slipped the first two I think in the May beforehand and worked through it. Then done the other two when we moved the static back home. And that was me that I was off my feet. Yeah. How's it done? Eh? Alright, good day, bad days, but you just uh <laughs> just smelly. Just I know it's not fighting about it. <laughs> I know, but it's 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 one of those things that like Tommy has sex. Tommy has three at the top and three at the bottom. No, I'll stick that four that time. <laughs> no, and it's like, it's not the kind of thing where it's uh, pull your bootstraps up and get on with. No, you don't. It's you, not that kind of injury. No, you don't it's realize how difficult it is until it actually happens. It's a different kind of pain, that. Yeah. And it's even even your mental mood. Absolutely. How, how it your emotional you, and yeah, mental health, that, uh, that physical. Uh, being so restricted, like, we have another static, it's not. Practical at the best of times, but even yeah. with an injury, like the shower and the static is literally half the size of that table. And then not even like, less than that. Yeah. And you see, it's not even like you could sit down in a bath and get washed properly. You can get a bath to get washed. You had to stand. Yeah. So when I used to stand, I used to lock myself into the corner and point the shower at me, and yeah. I'd start getting all washed. And then when it came to the bad leg, you're trying to like lift the leg in an angle to wash your foot without actually moving yourself because you, you physically couldn't bend because of the pain. And then it used to take me like 30, 40 minutes to get the shower, just to watch one leg. And a static? And a static. With the mortgage yeah. on the on the house. Which was needing major... Fully renovation. Fully renovation. Not even a part of the And who was doing it? <laughs> like I say, if so you want to go, you go all in. All in. But can you Balls see, wall, can you see just, like, you know, because we've got a lot of similar, you know, similarities. And that's why I always say I'm optimistic to a fault. Yeah, I, I was. See, when we looked at that house, Michelle, Michelle looked at it, but fell in love with it. Yeah. We went up and looked at it. Like, that house was, was always meant for us. Yeah. I bought that two or three times. Yeah. I had four mortgage refusals yes. based on that house. God, yeah. Because it was that far gone, it was like flatten up. You know, that's what their attitude was. And I was like, no, I want to keep it, you know, the character. Yeah, just, yeah, you just can't buy that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a 122 year old house. Yeah, it's, and there's a lot of it, it's people, the original people love case. fireplaces because they're purely features. Yeah, but you see mine, it was hidden. Yeah, like I can walk in, I can walk in my fireplace now with a stove. Pure character. Yeah, that house don't come like that. No, so you know, when you when everything's stacked against you, it's you need to believe in yeah. what, what you can achieve. <coughs> so when it's Michelle's seen the house, she fell in love with it, she's like. Like it need to, would it need a lot of work? And I remember looking around going, ah, you know, and I'd be like, all right. I got a, a friend of mine's a builder, he came out and looked at it, he was like, Are you taking this on? And I was like, yeah, and he says you've got balls like watermelons. <laughs> and he said that in front of the estate agent. <laughs> and I was like, and he says you're a mad. And I'd like, I'd no, I'd always be quite handy, but no physical skill set on a building site. 
Yeah, and then so, so then I think as you said the other night, I didn't put her head away for nearly a year, like just sitting at night YouTube, just watching. Yeah. How do you do it? How do you build the stud work? What's your what's your what's your stud your stud partners? Four hundred mil. You know, just different things. <coughs> Stagger and plaster board. Like the insulation that's in our house is not real. Like yeah. I put powder in the snow, we were putting our heating on for an hour and a quarter of our time. We didn't need it all wow. at any other time. Wow. Because the whole upstairs could be What was the biggest kind of hurdle you, you faced with that? With the, the renovation? Ooh, the biggest. The biggest. The roof or? No. Uh, skylights would have been one. Yeah? Yeah. Couldn't. Everyone, either, <coughs> everyone I spoke to about the skylight wouldn't touch it. Because it was a banger we used to have read straight roof. Yes. With uh, <coughs> mud on the back of it, or cement, if you want to call it. Um, and because there was no actual physical membrane, they wouldn't go here because they couldn't they couldn't guarantee that it wouldn't leak. <coughs> so again I I done a wee YouTube video and I three <laughs> locks windows <coughs> both my dad and my sister, uh they got down and we smashed a couple of tents out. No way, <laughs> no way. Yeah, right. yeah, it's gonna go here. Got a few but e e uh, yeah, even trying to get a because uh, those feet those how do you pronounce them? The lux. The lux. See, so trying to get a blind for them. Yeah, you do special. There's a special company that does them. All, all <coughs> certain sizes. Yeah. They're, they're, they're you can get a blind for them. Hard. They're a nightmare. They're a nightmare. <laughs> but that would be that would probably be one of the hard that and that and opening up the kits in the living room. The wall. The other living room. Yeah. Is that like a support wall? Six hundred, six hundred mil stone wall. <sighs> that way. No, yeah, that would. Just shattered, yeah. Yeah. So we had the aqua props and all of them, you know, hold it all up. Good stuff. You did? No, oh, I was up just like <laughs> send a picture of a mum like this. Is that the glory? <laughs> that looks great. <coughs> and I got started coming down one side of the wall and there was a rock. I still got the rock. It was massive. And I was like, holy shit, how am I getting this out of here? Yeah. Because the aqua props was because of the width of the wall, <coughs> the aqua props had to go right in tight. Mm -hmm. So I actually had to go to the other side of the wall in the living room and start in the dining room. Yeah. Which is uh, it's the other living room, not the other dining room. And start digging through the wall <laughs> with the aqua props to try and get this rock to roll out into the other living room. Stop. With nothing above it. Yeah, never mind wow. like the RST. <coughs> how, how old is the house? 120? 120 years old. The, the house is 122 years old. The old site goes back to 1700s. Yeah. Can't be on well. No way. It's free water. It's so salad. Bottle. <laughs> the Villa Rock. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> I'll go with you and we'll start bottling around. Tell boy and Rodney, rubbing everybody in the world if I lose it. Kind of bottle. I only want to be illuminating. <laughs> neon. <laughs> neon Spring. Movella Neon Spring Rock. Oh, Snow and Scrum. It means everything, yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, that's, uh, you're, you're, you're the perfect example for behind the beers and the banter, like, you know, behind the beers and the banter, you know, um, you, 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 you personify that because, yeah, there, uh, on the surface it's all funny games and everything looks good, oh, yeah. but it's the iceberg, it's the, it's the iceberg and it's the, the duck, it's the duck peddling like fuck, but yeah. on the surface looks, you know, calm, calm and ready, yeah, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's really not like that. No, it's, it's not. It's really, it's not. really not like it, that. It, it, if somebody's watching this tonight or whenever it goes out, they, it's not impossible. Oh, no. Do you know what I mean? They, no, no, no. If I was to give somebody advice, is there, if I could give somebody advice that I would have appreciated whenever I was starting out from something, you didn't have any of this. No. You know, you, you no. Just, you just want <coughs> No, you, you do. If you didn't be, know you somebody know, who knew. You need to do your research. You yeah. need to, if you're looking at a particular industry, you need to research that industry. Yeah. And you need to you need to know that industry inside out before you even pull a pin on anything. Before yeah. you walk away from your job or before you buy a piece of equipment because it's very easy to go and spend thousands of pounds of equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's it, it's useless if you don't know how to use it. I know, properly. I know. You can be um like very practical about well I need this and I need that and I'll do that. Do you like your grass cut? <laughs> <coughs> so, um, it's the uh, it's the unknown variables, the outside variables. There's things that you can't see. No, 